Hello everyone, Terrence here with Hollywood Already Did It, and this morning I watched the new Hulu original film, Palm Springs, starring Andy Samberg, Kristen Milioti, and J.K. Simmons, and I'll give you my thoughts right after the jump. on to the review if you haven't already go ahead like share subscribe to the channel ring that bell below anytime we have something you will be among the first to know now let's talk about this movie so palm springs is that weird uh weird hybrid of a movie that just gets me where you start mixing genres together it's a little bit of sci-fi a little bit of a uh, romantic comedy and you kind of merge them together sort of if like happy death day or groundhog they met 50 first dates and uh you on paper, that sounds like that should not go together, but this comes together pretty seamlessly in Palm Springs. Uh, it's a new movie where two folks meet each other um, at a wedding party, and one of them has been in a time loop for however long, <laughs> and, uh, and in an unfortunate way, winds up dragging the other one, the young lady, into the time warp with him, and then they get stuck into this time loop together over here to chime in. It, it's a fun little uh, comedy that delves into uh, romance, despair, and being and just the thought of being alone and then a thought of not your own self-worth. Uh, and it, it all comes together in a short little hour and a half film that is both fun and poignant, but also willing to take sort of the piss out of time loop movies and kind of have fun with it and kind of like... Uh, turn some of that stuff on its head and be violent and vulgar and towards that as well. Uh, this is my type of sick humor at times, but also my time of my kind of uh, heartfelt, poignant moments. I think uh, Kristen is fantastic. I would like Andy Samberg. I'm a Brooklyn Nine-Nine fan. I like the uh, Lonely Island Boys comedy overall, but I had never really seen her before, and um, her portrayal of Sarah is just, uh, it's fun to watch and it's effervescent. It's cool to see someone both be on the comedic part pairing with Andy as well as kind of just being able and like being able to go let loose but also being able to do the heartfelt moments too. What really gets me about this movie is that nobody none of their our main two characters and that neither of them are perfect. They both have warts and I think what is great about this is that they're what establishes their relationship or what comes of their relationship or how they form their relationship is done despite the fact that they know about each other's baggage and that they're still willing to kind of go on for 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 the next part of whatever whether it be the next day of this repeating it on again or whatever they decide to move on to life um what's also fun about this movie is that it sort of has an ambiguous uh ending and you don't really you, there are a couple of ways where you can uh, you can take it, and I. It's funny for a moment I thought when a final I'm not going to spoil anything, but when a final thing happens, the other movie is just going to end where it is, and then it just gets even more ambiguous. And stay tuned, make sure you stay through the credits because there, there's a post credit scene that actually makes it even more a bit of a like oh wait this isn't quite what I thought it is or I thought it was, but it's it's fun. It doesn't do it so this way that you're like, oh, I F this movie or whatnot, but it leaves it open so you can have an interpretation for it. And I think there aren't enough movies that do that. Um, I like that this movie is bare bones enough with a solid enough premise that it just allows its characters to sort of just breathe. And J.K. Simmons is, when he pops up on screen, is just fun to watch. And there's a great moment of sadness for him and his character because he is also uh, a victim of being in this loop and uh, it's just a fun quick what would seem really silly on paper turns out this pretty fun romantic comedy now for me I don't know how funny haha -ha it is but there are just moments of like I I'm not laughing out loud, but I'm smiling from ear to ear and enjoying everything that I'm seeing on screen. So, like, I don't think this is going to, like, make you bowl over in laughter, but you're going to be like, oh, this is, this is great. This is fun. I'm, I'm happy that they're happy and having fun, and in, in, in what they're giving us is coming across on screen, and I think everybody is nailing it from writing to 
uh, first time director um, to the two lead actors kind of killing it and making us fall for them falling for each other. And I think that's the, that is the key for any type of romantic comedy. Um, and for you to get me to like a romantic comedy, because that's probably the genre of film that I like the least, but to do it, uh, you'll find the romantic comedies I like uh, are like the Scott Pilgrims or the 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 Fifty First Dates, where you're taking romantic comedy but you're turning it on on its head by adding another genre to it, and that gets me to trick my brain like, oh yeah, I like that, I like that type of stuff. Or Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which isn't really a romantic comedy; it's more of a romantic drama. But you you get what I'm saying with that's how the romance stuff needs to be fed for me, and I think this is creative enough in a way that it makes it all come together and work. So, on my scale of um, once is enough, uh, give me a time stone that I never have to see this again or play it again, Sam. This is definitely a play it again, Sam. Like, I, this is going to be in the rotation. This is probably one of, uh, even though there's not a lot of movies that we can actively say we've seen this year because of the pandemic, this would be hands down one of my top five films so far of the year. Because uh, I, I really genuinely like this from start to finish. But... That's my opinion. What did you guys think? Go ahead and leave your comments in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't, you can follow us on Twitter at Hollywood ADI. You can drop us a line on email at HollywoodAlreadyDigit at gmail.com. We also have a podcast by the same name that is on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, any other place podcasts. We are there. Uh, this current episode, we're talking about The Old Guard with Charlize Theron. That was just released on Netflix. But yeah, I've done the trifecta this week. I've watched the Netflix original, the Apple TV original, and the Hulu original. And I think right now, uh, based on this weekend, the Hulu original is the one that I would probably recommend the most for everybody to see. But that's all I got for now, guys. Thank you so much. Everyone stay healthy, stay safe, and be well, all right? Thanks, guys.